Hello and welcome to the JBNM Sports Fanatic channel. Thank you for joining me for this video. And hey, the New England Patriots, it seems that they are open to reopening contract negotiations with Stephon Gilmore before training camp. Sit down. Let's talk with the 2019 Defensive Player of the Year and let's see if we can get something worked out here for these Patriots so that way they can keep, you know, one of the best secondaries in the game, a perfect tandem between him and J.C. Jackson. And so, obviously, they're going to have to open up their wallet. I do expect that the Patriots, you know, would come to him with something like maybe a two, two-year two deal. I'm thinking probably three-year deal. But most of the money is going to be up front and year run, enough to get him to sign for that first year. And then maybe year two, you go ahead and trade him elsewhere. So that way, you know, if he wants to try to make more money that way, so be it. Bill Belichick's not going to hold on to you when you reach the point where you're going to start to level off and decline. So I see one more year with him with the Patriots before I think ultimately they find a way to trade him away. But with that being said, though, I definitely do want him to come back for this upcoming season for the Patriots. I think that would be good for him, good for the team, and certainly would be excited to see how that would play out this year. But we need, but the Patriots need him fully on board. Though I will say that. And it goes on to state here in this article that the New England Patriots and cornerback Stephon Gilmore plan to sit down before training camp to address the 2019 Defensive Player of the Year's contract, according to ESPN's Jeremy Fowler. You know, Gilmore so far, he has skipped the mandatory mini camp and voluntary organized team activities due to his discontent with his contract, Pretty Athletic, and the Boston Herald. Um, you know, his frustration, he's definitely voiced his frustration on the social media. Um, I remember that he's basically been comparing himself to some of the corners that are the highest paid in the league. And obviously they are not, you know, they're not Stephon Gilmore, no offense to them. So he certainly, you know, is looking at that like he needs to be paid more. And he has been vocal about that in demanding a new contract. And so he's playing the final year of his five-year, $65 million deal that he signed back in 2017. And because, you know, New England gave him a, a raise in 2020 Gilmore's contract will be a result of a 16.2 million dollar cap hit in 2021 and so he um, will receive only 7.7 .7 million in new money however so yeah he wants more so the Patriots they're going to go ahead and talk with him because right now the Patriots unlike in years past they really need him and they can't just have the luxury of saying oh you know, we'll just trade you right now. No, they certainly can use all the help they can get on defense to help until this offense can grow into more of an offensive threat, you know, this upcoming season. So definitely they're going to be looking to try to work some things out. And they do go on to state that, you know, there hasn't been any trade traction around the league because the Patriots, quite frankly, just didn't do enough to shore up the cornerback position to where if they were to lose him, that would put them at a major disadvantage. Um, so they have no choice really in this situation but to go there and communicate with him. Now, they do have guys that they brought in like Jalen Mills. Obviously, on the other side of Gilmore would be J.C. Jackson. You've got Jonathan Jones as well. And then some other guys like, you know, Miles Bryant. Um, jo 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 um, Jawan Williams, Michael Jackson. So they've got some pieces there in terms of just, you know, building depth out. But in terms of like to go out there and cover the number one guy, I mean, Jackson, he's tremendous at getting turnovers, but I prefer that he guards, you know, the second best receiver and have Gilmore just lock down the first best. So that way quarterbacks will have no choice but to throw it towards JC Jackson in that way. But Jalen Mills will see how the type of impact that he has coming over from the Eagles, obviously still retaining Jonathan Jones, you know, so they've got some pieces, but they certainly are a better unit with Gilmore for sure. And with that being said, though, we will see how this plays out. And if they are able to come to an agreement on a deal, you can be sure to find it here. So make sure that if you haven't already, that you hit that subscribe and like button. That's the best way to support the channel. And therefore, you'll always be notified whenever I drop content about this or if a player gets signed. You know, as I cover a lot of NFL, NBA news as well. Um, even at the collegiate level, you know, I'm, I'm going to start covering more college football, college basketball news as well. So you're not going to want to miss out. So with that being said, though, thank you so much for joining me and see you guys next time.